Learning objectives. After studying this module, students will be able to understand the meaning and elements of computer, distinguish between hardware and software, explain the capabilities of computer system, memorize limitations of a computer system, explain the components of computer, understand the value of computerized accounting, explain the features of computerized accounting system, define management information system and accounting information system, design comprehensive accounting reports. Meaning and elements of computer system. Computer. A computer is an electronic device that takes data, processes it, and gives the output in the form of information. A computer system is consists of various elements. Hardware, software, humanware, procedure, data. Hardware is the physical component of the computers that can be touched and seen. For example, keyboard, mouse, monitor, printer, etc. Software is a set of program that helps a computer to perform various tasks given by the user. Software can be further classified as System software is a set of programs that helps to control the hardware parts of the computer system. Application software is that software which is developed to help users so that they can perform their work more efficiently and quickly like MS Office. Utility software is used to perform day-to-day -day tasks like disk fragmentation, antivirus, etc. Language processors is a program that converts high-level language into machine language and vice versa. Connectivity softwares helps a computer to create a connection between the server and the other computers. Operating system is a system software that works as an interface between the user and the computer. It manages all the resources of the computer system, like Windows 8, XP, etc. Humanware are set people who work and interact with the computers. These people can be operators, programmers, system analysts. Procedure is a sequence that needs to be followed to achieve desired results. There are three types of procedures. Hardware oriented procedure provides details about hardware and how to operate them. Software oriented procedure gives instructions for using the software of computer. Internal procedure ensures smooth flow of data to computers by controlling the overall computer system. Data is the raw facts and figures used by the computer. Information is the data transformed to make it useful to the users. Capabilities, Limitations and Components of a Computer System a computer system has many features that make it a smart machine. Speed A computer takes less time in performing tasks as compared to human beings. Its speed can be measured in nanoseconds. Accuracy It always gives accurate results. A computer makes mistake when the user makes any mistake. Reliability a computer can work continuously without getting tired and committing mistakes. That's why it is more reliable machine. Versatile A computer is a versatile machine. We can use many applications at one time without any hassles. Storage A computer has very large storage capacity as compared to human beings. Its memory can be measured in gigabytes or zeta bytes. Saves paper. The use of computers leads to reduction in paperwork. A computer also has certain limitations. A computer does not have any intelligence of its own. A computer 
does not have IQ. It cannot think and take decisions itself. A computer works as per the stored programs. A computer does not have any feelings or emotions like human beings. A computer system consists of three main components. Input unit, process unit, output unit. Input unit. This unit includes all the hardware components of the computer that helps to take input from the users like keyboard, mouse, scanner, microphone, joystick, light pen, etc. Processing unit. This unit performs all types of processing work for the computer system. It has three parts. Control unit. It controls the functioning of all the parts of the computer system. Memory unit. This unit does all the storage work for the computer system. ALU, Arithmetic Logic Unit. It does all the arithmetic and logical operations for the computer system. Output unit. This unit provides results in a user-readable form after processing. It includes all the parts of the computer that helps to get output from the computer, like monitor, printer, plotter, etc. Evolution of computers Evolution of computerized accounting Earlier, the people used to maintain all the record of the transactions manually in the form of ledgers, cash book and journal. But later, various billing machines were invented to make the work of the accountant easy. The maintenance of transactions has become easy in computerized accounting due to the following reasons. The computerized accounting uses the concept of database. In accounting software, we don't need to maintain journals and ledgers. Some of the most commonly used accounting softwares are Tally, Cash Manager, Best Books, etc. Information and Decisions Every organization takes input and transforms that information into output. Information and decision-making are related to each other. Every organization has a well-established information system that generates the information required for decision-making. Keeping in mind the increased use of information system in organizations, transaction processing systems, TPS, have started. TPS, Transaction Processing System. A transaction processing system, TPS, is a type of information system that collects, records, and processes, modifies, and retrieves the transactions occurred in an organization. The transaction could be external or internal. The financial accounting is limited to external transactions only. Let us understand the functioning of TPS with an example of ATM. Data Entry First of a customer enters the data with any one of the input device. The data entered are the details of the customer like PIN number. Data Validation It helps to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the data entered by the user by comparing with the data which is already registered with the bank. This is done through the technique of error detection and error correction method. Processing and Revalidation After validation, the data is being processed ensuring the valid data entered by the user. Revalidation happens to make sure that the transaction completed and the money is being delivered to the customer. Storage This transaction is being stored in the database of the computerized personal banking system. Information The stored data is processed using the query facility to produce desired information. Reporting at last, the report is being generated with the required information. The processing of data is done in two ways, either 
through batch processing or real-time processing. Batch processing. It is used for large organizations that have huge volume data. This information is collected as a batch and processed later on, like paying by check. Real-time processing. In this, all the details of the transactions are recorded and changed at that time it occurs. Features of computerized accounting system. The processing of data is done in two ways either through batch processing or real-time processing. Batch processing. It is used for large organizations that have huge volume data. This information is collected as a batch and processed later on, like paying by check. Real-time processing. In this, all the details of the transactions are recorded and changed at that time it occurs. Features of computerized accounting system over manual accounting system. The computerized accounting system has certain advantages over manual accounting system, which are as follows. Accounting data is processed faster in computerized accounting as compared to manual accounting as computers can perform tasks at a faster speed. The chances of mistakes are less as primary data is entered once for all processes in preparing accounting reports. Online input and storage of accounting data. Information is updated automatically. Mostly, accounting systems are interlinked which facilitates the availability of information to various users at the same time. Reports can be generated automatically. Every account and transaction is assigned a unique code. MIS – Management Information System An MIS gathers data from multiple online systems analyzes the information and reports data to management that helps in decision making. It provides managers with the information that helps them in decision making and solving problems. MIS provides information in the form of standardized reports. AIS – Accounting Information System An accounting information system, AIS, is a system of collecting storing and processing financial and accounting data that are used by decision makers. Every accounting system is essentially a part of the accounting information system AIS, which in turn is a part of the broader system, the organization's management information system. Relationship between MIS and AIS The diagram shows the five widely recognized functional areas of management. An organization operates in a given environment with suppliers and customers. The informational needs raised from the business processes classified into functional areas where accounting is one of them. The accounting information system, AIS, receives and provides information to the various subsystems of the MIS. Limitations of Computerized Accounting System There are certain limitations of computerized accounting system. At times, software demands specialized staff, so huge training costs are incurred to provide training to the staff. System failure can at times lead to loss of work. Inability to check unanticipated errors. The extensive use of computers at times may lead to ill effects on health of the users. Designing of accounting reports Designing accounting reports After processing data becomes information. When the information is summarized to fulfill a particular need, it is called a report. The content and design of the report differ as per the need and level to which it is submitted and the decision to make on the basis of reports. A report should be effective and should support the decision-making process. A report should be made on the following criteria. Relevance, timeliness, 
accuracy, completeness, summarizations. There are different types of reports generated in the accounting software depending upon the requirements of the user. However, MIS reports can be of following types. 1. Summary Report This report briefs all the activities of the organization, day-to-day -day operation and prepared summary of all these things in the form of report. The examples are balance sheet created by organizations or profit and loss account. 2. Demand Report this kind of report is generated when the higher authorities demand for it. These reports include bad debts reports, stock valuation, etc. 3. Customer Supply Report This report is generated as per the management requirements, like report of top 10 debtors, top 10 suppliers, vendor analysis report, Purchase Analysis Report, etc. 4. Exception Reports These reports are prepared according to the conditions of the business or exceptions in the business. For example, Inventory Report is Large Supplies, Stock Status Query, etc. 5. Responsibility Reports the responsibilities are allocated to different people in every organization to prepare reports. Like report of cash position is submitted by accounts department, etc. Steps to design accounting reports. The objective for which we are creating report is to be clearly defined. The people who are going to use the report, what decisions will be taken on the basis of report, etc. The structure of the report is to be defined like what information the report will contain, what will be the style of presentation of report. The accounting queries must be clearly defined and which methodology will be adopted while interacting with database. Finalizing the report Data Interface Between the Information System Data Interface Between the Information System AIS is an important part of the MIS in an organization. It receives information and then provides that information to the other functional departments. The following examples illustrate the relationship between the data and the various subcomponents of MIS. Accounting Information System Manufacturing Information System and Human Resource Information System. First, the Manufacturing Department receives the list of workers from the Human Resource, that is, HR Department. Since the details of production done by the workers on the basis of which the HR Department sends the information to the Finance and Accounts Department to pay the wages. The details of the wages paid and dues are also sent by the Finance and Accounts Department to the Production Department, also to the HR Department to monitor the performance of workers. The HR Department communicates to the other departments about the good or bad performance. On this basis, decision on various operational matters may be taken. AIS and Marketing Information System Let's take the example of business process in the marketing and sales department. This includes processing of sales orders, credit authorization, custody of the goods, inventory position, shipping information, receivables, etc. AIS and manufacturing information system. A production unit may involve the following activities. Preparation of plans and schedules, issue of material requisition forms and job cards, issue of inventory, issue of orders for procurement of raw materials, handling of vendors' invoices, payments to vendors. All of this information has to share with the other MIS in the organization. Hence, the computerized accounting system transforms the financial data 
into meaningful information and communicates the information to the decision makers. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Computer is an electronic device that takes data, processes it and gives the output in the form of information. Hardware is the physical component of the computers that can be touched and seen. Software is a set of program that helps a computer to perform various tasks given by the user. Operating system is system software that works as an interface between the user and the computer. It manages all the resources of the computer system like Windows 8, XP, etc. A transaction processing system TPS is a type of information system that collects, records and processes, modifies and retrieves the transactions occurred in an organization. The processing of data is done in two ways, either through batch processing or real-time processing. The computerized accounting system has certain advantages over manual accounting system. An MIS gathers data from multiple online systems, analyzes the information and reports data to management that helps in decision making. An accounting information system, AIS, is a system of collecting, storing and processing financial and accounting data that are used by decision makers. An accounting report should be made on the following criteria. Relevance timeliness, accuracy, completeness,